The nation's future will also be shaped by a number of other elections today. Yeah, control, particularly in the U.S. Senate, uh, perhaps up for grabs. The Senate and the House of Representatives could she see a power shift or they could see a power solidification tonight. All 435 seats in the House are up for grabs. Right now, Republicans hold 240, the Democrats 190. There are five vacancies. 33 of the Senate seats will be uh, decided tonight. The current balance of power in the Senate favors the Democrats with a 51-47 advantage and two independents. Wisconsin voters will decide who fills one vacant Senate seat. Either Tommy Thompson or Tammy Baldwin will take over for the retiring Herb Cole. Now as we begin our coverage of the Senate race, Fox 11's Robert Hornacek is with the Thompson campaign. Robert, good evening. Good evening, Tom. I'm at the Marriott West Hotel in Pewaukee. That's just west of the city of Milwaukee. And Governor Thompson will be here at some point this evening to address his supporters. Right now, there's not a lot going on here. There's a lot of media, local, state, and some national folks here set up getting ready for the evening, getting ready for some speeches here tonight. But for Tommy Thompson, it's been a very busy last few days of the campaign. Tommy Thompson made his way to the polls this morning at City Church in Madison. It was not the first time the Republican Senate candidate saw his name on the ballot, but it has been a few years. Thompson spent 14 years as Wisconsin governor before he went to Washington, D.C. in 2001 to serve as Secretary of Health and Human Services under President George W. Bush. Thompson has focused his Senate campaign on turning the economy around. He's also stressed his experience as governor, working with both sides of the aisle. In the last few days, Thompson has crisscrossed the state with stops in Alloway, Ashwaubenon, Green Bay, Fond du Lac, La Crosse, Eau Claire, Schofield, Sheboygan, and Milwaukee. Now, Thompson, of course, knows a thing or two about campaigning here in Wisconsin. Dating back to 1986, he has won six consecutive statewide campaigns that he's run. Of course, he's hoping that streak continues here tonight. Reporting live in Pewaukee, Robert Hornacek, Fox 11 News. Also this evening, Fox 11's Alex Ranallo is covering uh, Tammy Baldwin's campaign, and she has more from downtown Madison. I'm at the Monona Terrace in the Madison Ballroom, and right now you can see behind me there's a little bit of activity going on as campaign workers get ready for the main event. The actual party itself doesn't get underway until 8 o'clock when the polls close this evening, however. But go ahead and take a look at this video we have. This is Tammy Baldwin herself casting a ballot in Madison earlier today. Baldwin is fresh off of campaign stops across the state. She made an appearance in Green Bay just last night. Baldwin currently serves in the U.S. House of Representatives for Wisconsin. Johnson's District 2. The congresswoman was first elected to that position in 1999. Baldwin is a member of the House's Committee on Energy and Commerce. She calls herself a strong supporter of universal health care and energy independence. Now, Baldwin is hoping to keep retiring Democratic Senator Herb Cole's seat in her party. She ran unopposed in the Democratic primary this summer. Since then, the polls have been rather close between her and Republican opponent Tommy Thompson. Reporting in Madison, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News.